guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be troubleshooting this old battery charger that failed on me quite some time ago. I put it on a shelf, get it out of the way, and said I'll deal with that later. Now is later. Uh, it's an old Everstart, real basic, not automatic uh, charger. Uh, something I really want because it's been very dependable up to this point. Uh, really want to get that working again, so let's get into it. Okay guys, I hooked this up uh, to my battery. Uh, it's been some time ago, and then I just bought another battery charger, but I figure I... You know, it never did charge, so the battery I hooked it to. I uh, got my new battery charger, charged the battery fine, so I put this on the shelf, said, well, I'll troubleshoot that later. So it's later, and we're going to troubleshoot this. So what I've got it hooked up to my meter now, and the setting is set to 12 volt, 2 amps. I'm going to go ahead and set my meter to... 20 since that should be able to pick up this should be putting out you know 13 14 volts or whatever the charging is on that and we're gonna plug it in and see what we get if we get anything okay we are plugged in you can hear the hum and the run but we're only getting 5.3 oh and it is dropping volts output so I think next, eh, let's go ahead and flip the switch mid-level, see what we get. So we're only getting about half of what we probably should be getting. Okay guys, here we are on the inside. The windings look pretty good in this transformer. We got a pretty good hum, so that's probably not it. And here's our output side, and we are getting some voltage, and yeah, everything looks kind of decent. It's a little rusty, obviously. So it looks like it comes out to this breaker right here. Oh yeah, FYI, stay away from that side. That's the high voltage side. This is the low voltage side. I'm going to be working on this side from this end of the battery cover so as to not get involved into the high voltage. Okay, we're going to test this real quick and see if I jump her across here. So to me, I'm thinking we got a problem in here. In the, in the breaker piece, maybe. Because I'm, I'm essentially bypassing that. I'm hitting it on this side and this side. I guess we can test that by going from here to here. Oh, I got 12 volts there now. Let's go from here. And I got 12 volts there. So, let's, let's test the ends again. Okay guys, since everything tests good outside the charger, which is really odd, um, I've got my continuity meter set up here and really so basically when when you've got continuity in your wire You'll get numbers uh, When you have it broken, it's going to sit at one. So let's check our negative first Where it comes out of the box negative looks good. Now. Let's check our positive where it comes out of the box. I Think we've found our problem somehow somewhere along the way which i don't really understand this wire is it seems to be broken so first thing i would check would be this piece right so let's get in here on the copper nothing so pretty strange I'm gonna inspect this wire a little closer oh wait 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 now I got it now I don't so it looks like maybe my connection here at the clamp is the problem it's exactly what it is so I'm gonna see if I can clean this up a little bit Good news is it's not broken along the wire it's it's all right here so i'm gonna see if i can clean that up a little bit and see if we get a different reading okay i just got a q-tip with some rubbing alcohol 
we're gonna soak that down really good must just be some corrosion underneath we're gonna find out Looks like we got it, guys. Can you believe it was that connection? Hey guys, that's all we have for today. A simple connection, deep troubleshooting process. Took me a while to get to it, but simple connection failure. Uh, that there was a combination of what I would call corrosion, and it just became a little bit loose where the wire came in. I just basically made that tighter again, pressed down on it with a screwdriver, made it tighter again, and we're back in business. So I'll keep you updated if anything changes, but yeah, not too bad. Glad to have it back and working. That's all we have for today, guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.